Okay, Nerfman 101 here, and I know y'all are about to be happy because I finally was able to make this vid. And judging by the title, Nerf Inventory 2, uh, or Nerf Inventory Update, you should like it. And, you know, uh, when you're looking at this vid, first of all, one more thing, subscribe, sub, should be over there, I hope so. And if it's not, I'm like a complete idiot doing this. But what the heck? Uh, okay, let's have a look. See. Uh, sorry, I'm watching MythBusters. Let me turn that down. Here we go. This not many Nerf guns really. I don't need quant uh, a whole bunch. It's quality, not quantity. So yeah, let me start off with my favorites. Uh, right here. These are my personally inspired match like guns. This is this one. This is my first long shot. Repainted and uh, redone as y'all may have seen in my last video. And then here's the matching Maverick to go along with it. So yeah. And basically a fade is basically you do your black and then you just start doing red and mist it over gently and then there you go. Very easy to do. Uh, here's my other match. This is my new long shot DB, DTV integration, CPVC uh, turret. So, yeah. And then there's a matching Maverick to go along with it. I also have another one of these Mavericks over there. Uh, that one's for PCK vids. That's a contract. Uh, give me a message when you want to ship because I'm ready uh, with everything. So, yeah. But those are my two long shots. Moving on. That's my Busby Rapid Fire. That one's not really modded. I don't use it. It's just for future movies, really. Because I like the sh idea of using shells. Because it just makes it look more realistic and it's kind of cool looking. Next up, probably my third, no, well, these, first, favorite, second, no, uh, yeah, let's go first, second, fourth is my recon, it's really cool, just flattened out, uh, when you take off the barrel and, uh, then you can actually see the orange tip, so, yeah, so usually when I use it, I'll probably end up using it as a pistol anyway, so it doesn't really matter, um, and then here's my second or third favorite primary, my ERTL gun, shotgun, right there. Let me explain the barrels. <sighs> okay, two different types of barrels. Coupler, um, basically coupler because I, I didn't feel like removing this coupler that way I could use two. So, uh, CPVC half inch coupler fits into a PVC half coupler inch half coupler so it works out and then I have this unique barrel that I made myself basically hold on gosh sorry oh okay that's a Vulcan chain but yeah if you want to see more info on it just go to my bit about it let me just put the PVC on top but yeah, it's not slid on all the way, but who cares? Okay. Next up is the lantern gun. Lantern gun. Uh, it's like it's basically a big blast. That one's single. Uh, it can shoot. It can shoot uh, missiles too. So, yeah. Uh, all I did was cut out the little thing, and my Stephens fit in there perfectly. So it can shoot Stephens or uh, shoot. Uh, rockets so cool next up are my two titans which are awesome and um, they're not single because I couldn't use them in a war anyway so it's for basically for rockets when for my nerf war we're gonna do slayer rockets so that's gonna be fun but that one has air stickers drilled out all the way through and the pump is blood and that one's uh, just stock <sighs> moving on uh, that's the atom blaster uh, it's basically a ball clip, like right there, that little attachment right there is a clip that holds balls. I'm not sure how many, but I don't really use the gun. 
So, yeah. Uh, my two Hornets, would that go with my two Titans? Uh, they're both stock. Uh, this shot gun, that one's fun to play with just when you're bored because it holds so many darts. Like I said, that one's for P, uh, C, K vids. Then right there is my new gun that I just got. Thank you, uh, Nerf Bros 114. You rock. Uh, it's a single Busby gun. I'm not sure what type. Uh, but. PVC and it's so awesome because I pumped it so much at one point that when the dart came out there was a trail of smoke I guess because the dart was going so fast throughout the barrel and I guess all the stuff that was in the barrel or maybe it just sanded the bandle I mean barrel a little bit I'm not sure but I just know when I shot it there was smoke and it was kind of cool so if I have time maybe I'll show you what it looks like but anyway uh, three scouts uh, those are my favorite pistols only because how you prime them and it's, it's kind of like airsoft or just kind of like some real pistols. For example, here's my extremely modded one. Sorry about that. Painted, custom paint, air should removed, added sprain. Uh, yeah. And then one of these, one of those scouts have air shooter removal and the other one is just stock down air tech 20 really messed up uh, because the barrels are missing I got that off of eBay basically for free uh, super match 3000 I just shipped one the nerf bros one one uh, four so yeah I hope you get it soon see I mean PVC did uh, it's still not working because the handle broke because I did not reinforce it so yippee I have to find a way to make a handle I don't feel like it, so I'm not going to make one for a little while because it made me just so PO'd when it broke. Uh, probably my favorite old school missile type gun is the Gyro Strike because my friend had one and it was just so fun to play Capture the Flag around the, like, the whole neighborhood would join in on some Saturdays and we'll just play Capture the Flag with Nerf, which is why I still like Nerf now because it was just cool times and... Uh, it's a loud gun, but when you're behind someone and you're pumping that and they just turn around scared as crap and you just shoot them, it's kind of fun. So yeah, it just brings up, it, uh, brings back good memories and I really like it. Uh, just finished this one today. Singled mag, uh, gosh, not mag strike, uh, maverick. This one, hopefully, uh, for, uh, pump pictures hope you like it if you don't then I'll just make another because uh, the paint that I had sucked so I decided to single it for the barrel I mean the yeah I guess the barrels wouldn't be in there because the paint job was ugly as anything but yeah and it matches the overflow of the gun if you don't like the orange over it then you can just simply take it out it's kind of hard to do with a camera hold on Take it out. See PVC, perfect. But this is just for it looks good. What do you know? Uh, I thought about doing uh, shoot, crap. If I can't remember, I'm just gonna waste more time. And I only got one more minute basically. I was gonna try to do a not clip breach, breach. See PVC breach and do the orange thing over. If you want me to, then. Uh, send me a message and I'll do it for you but anyway uh, and then last but not least there's my Vulcan no mods to it yet haven't really found the need to mod it because I'm not going to use it in a war obviously unless it's indoors with just like three friends and I just want to total domination uh, totally dominate which is why this thing is here and which is why there's a root beer can in there because we just have a nerf war at their house and I have a whole bunch of American flags because uh, we play capture flag and basically one of them's painted. If I like messed up the American flag and you don't think I'm American, I'm a communist and fine. But uh, yeah, I just painted over one of the flags and now we have capture the flag. So simple. But yeah, here's all my guns, guys. Uh, Northman 101 saying, Sarnar.